Christmas Day 2009. It was supposed to be another peaceful holiday, but it was disrupted with the bomb attempt on board Flight 253. And it turns out there were two other chaotic flights that very same day, both over Detroit. Christmas Day 2009, Umar Farouk Abdul Muttalib tries to detonate a bomb on board a Delta flight over Metro Detroit. The events of that incident have been widely reported, and now the Nigerian national is behind bars awaiting trial. What hasn't been known, two other incidents the very same day, both also taking place over Detroit. But another incident also on board a flight from Amsterdam to Detroit this afternoon. Another passenger was arrested on that flight as well. Back on Christmas Day, Channel 7 was the only station to report about one of those incidents. And details on both are now revealed. And these documents just obtained by Action News. And unbelievably, one of them happened on the very same Delta route. Amsterdam to Detroit. He was stood up. He was belligerent. Uh, he was yelling, swearing. He would put hats on. He was screaming about Afghanistan. Um, he was fighting with the wonderful uh, stewards that we had. There were five men, big men, and three women. I said to my husband, I was so thankful that there were three or five men on the um, flight. This woman, Marilyn Engel of West Bloomfield, isn't talking about underwear bomber Umar Farouk Abdul Muttalib on flight 253, but another passenger on board Delta flight 249, also Amsterdam to Detroit, Christmas Day last year. Our initial report had the blogosphere buzzing about a possible conspiracy. And I hear him screaming, you know, things about, uh, what about us in Afghanistan? He had this whole thing with Afghanistan. He destroyed a seat. Punching on the seats, threw food everywhere. According to these passengers and this police report, passenger Arnoldus Mole was being unruly and yelling profanities and had to be subdued to a seat with flex cuffs. A flight attendant says while the restraints were being attached, the 50-year-old citizen of the Netherlands headbutted him and kissed him on the cheek. The flight attendant's thumb and shoulder were injured. And that's not the only thing that happened that same day over Detroit. We've also learned about a third incident according to these police reports. Virgin America Flight 25, New York to San Francisco. The flight diverted to Detroit because of another unruly passenger. Safi Fung was arrested with $15,000 in cash after becoming disruptive in seat 1C, yelling at a flight attendant because his meal contained meat. According to these documents, the flight crew tried to explain that was all the food they had, but Fung continued to be irate, yelling, quote, why the expletive are you hassling me? Then extending his forefinger out and with his thumb up in the shape of a gun, placing it to the flight attendant's temple and simulating shooting him in the head. When the plane diverted to Detroit, investigators who boarded the plane said the captain was, quote, visibly shaken and took the threat very serious. Fong told investigators the flight attendant did not, quote, give a expletive. Police smelled alcohol on his breath and said Fung's eyes were bloodshot. He was placed under arrest for interfering with a flight crew. His blood alcohol content would be tested at more than twice the legal limit. Investigators would find out he had checked no luggage and found $15,000 in small bills in his carry-on. The Drug Enforcement Administration confiscated the money. Fung told customs officials he was born in Trinidad and was not a U.S. citizen. Fung was eventually released once he sobered up, saying, quote, I'll get you expletive. You stole my money. And then you'll get yours, devils. Fung left the police station and was last seen walking to the McDonald's on Middle Belt. Sathi Fung is now fighting the government to try to get his money back, but it's unclear what happened with the charge of interfering with a flight crew, which is a federal offense. As for Arnold Small, the passenger from the Netherlands, nobody pressed any charges, but he was sent back to Amsterdam on the next flight out after he gave conflicting stories as to whom he was visiting here in the U.S. This is so bizarre because this was all on the same day last year when, mm -hmm. the, you know, the so-called underwear yeah. bomber Three you know, suspicious incident. travelers, three and they're different not Flights, completely not connected, according to you know federal investigators, wow. and two of them on the very same route. 
uh, Amsterdam to Detroit on Delta just within hours of each other. What are the odds? You know, you always think Christmas Day is going to be one of those easy reporting days where you just kind of coast <laughs> and lay back and, yeah, it didn't well, happen last year. Well, let's not jinx anything for this year. <laughs> exactly.